Back in the old days when the reach of fighting game competitions were of a much smaller scale, legends began to manifest within their own respective vicinities. In Japan, Daigo is starting to make a name for himself, most especially in the realm of Street Fighter. While in the West, the US would proclaim themselves as Japan's main competition from their side of the world, which would lead to Ryan Hart's world-class skills and all the tournament wins that supported it to stay under the radar. But alas, someone as talented as Ryan could not avoid fate's will of pitting him up against some of the fiercest players across the globe one of them being Daigo. Of course, Ryan, who's just as hungry as his competition is for the highest level of play, did not shy away from it at all. Let's take a look back at some of the classic moments from the rivalry that is Daigo Mihara vs. Ryan Hart. This time a few years ago when Umahara came to France to participate in the tournament, they played each other then, they played in the UK, and first time in a long time Daigo has Raced us with his presence once again in Europe. Not the first time they faced each other, most of their past matches were Daigo visiting Ryan's turf, which led to Ryan gaining a little bit of a home advantage within some of those matches. And this time, although not exactly his hometown of London, the Swedish fans in Dreamhack winner 2013 would still somehow show their support for their fellow European. Three is one minus, like I'm The overhead? Yeah. I think it might be minus two on block, okay. plus one on hit, something like that. Wow, that knee. He's got a lot of mileage out there. Oh, oh my god! My Again! God. Oh my god! Ryan, 1 0, just like that. What? Doesn't what? go for the ultra. Wouldn't it have reached? Why didn't he? I don't get it. Oh, oh my oh. god! <laughs> the hurricane, what? dragon, ultra. That was a bit crazy. Daigo with the FADC Ultra makes it 2-0. A real turnaround here. Just that little walk forward, walk back stomach. I missed his link, but still got a yes to hit. Ryan could really do with the reaction Ultra, but Daigo's not going to give him the chance. He gave him one. I'm surprised Daigo's not altering these fireballs. Oh, a oh, beautiful finish. Wow, a lot of chip there. Daigo <laughs> turns it around really, really nicely. Having beaten Momochi before facing Daigo, you'd be sure that Ryan was fully confident in his next match, considering that not only did he win against the perceived favorite to win DreamHack Summer 2016, but the player also considered to be the best can during this time, a character Ryan plays himself. Oh, he baits out. That's nice conversion from Ryan here. All of the damage there in the corner, V-Trigger specific combos and juggles. Ryan in the... In the driver's seat at the moment. Oh, Actually hits. Throws him out of the corner. Not sure he's done anyway. He should be able to get the kill here. That's going to be it. There you go. And Ryan oh, Hart Ryan. goes 1-0 up against Daigo Umehara. Two rounds to zero. React to it. I feel like Daigo tried to DP there, but he did it ever so slightly too late. You get, you get caught pumping the DP motion. That's the motion, now. right? Yeah, yeah, so fast that he extends with that. Yeah, yeah. And again. The X5 will just keep him honest. He wants to dash in. He's taking a huge amount of damage and Daigo closes right the, the end, round out. That was so sneaky. He was basically killing Ryan on the way in. Oh, oh nice stuff from Ryan. That dash in. Super. Saw him do that all the time in Street Fighter 4. four. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't get the most damage, but. Oh, and that is going to probably close it out. Pretty sure Whoa. it has done. Daigo with the medium kick V-Trigger cancel. He loves that so much. And that is four straight rounds back to back to back to back. <laughs> Daigo is a lot of horror. Already considered to be a classic matchup for most, one can always feel the tension whenever these two go head to head, which always translates itself in almost, if not all, of their matches. Ah, uh, yeah, he wants that. He wants that. He's fishing. He's fishing. That's it. Here we go. On the board, Brian Hart making a statement here at EGX. Oh, Ryan. Ryan has an empty jump. Ryan doesn't care about the club. He still wants to win this round. All right, here we go. Yeah, What's sure the mix-up? He won't DP. There's, uh, there's no way. Okay, crouch. Saw the approach and went for crouch and jab. Finished it off. That's all we needed. Slowly deploying that hill gauge. Activate it. It's safe as well. Oh, Rip from bait. What's the mix-up? DP? No. There we go. One more hit. He did all it. He right, made it. There you go. The patience. Right. The patience. Who made sure you denied? <laughs> <laughs> While Ryan at this point of his life did not enter in as much tournaments as he did back then, Daigo would still be as active in almost all of them, keeping his skills as sharp as ever. Except instead of V-Trigger 1, interesting. Yeah, it is an interesting thing. That jump pays off for Ryan. 
That's Daniel Corden. Base out of Stanford. Right, Meaty, Meaty Tick Cross! Reset. Reset. That should be dead. I mean, he's going to get the round here. Optimal combo. Spend the bar. It was a meat too. Yeah, done. No meter needed. Do the right hot takes the first round there against Dago. More booms. Yeah, he'll use it as a point of entry at this point. This is it out. Got a little bit left. Now, will Dago activate? You use it in neutral. Really. Yeah, I see a few zone with it. Tried to back this, didn't connect. He yeah, connects this time. Dago spends all of his meter just to keep, make sure he gets this round. Ryan jumps over that boom. Right, wait, patiently. Oh, lovely choice from Daigo. What anticipation. A sweet jammer. Uh, jump back jab. Wow, choices. Don't think he wanted that, but nevertheless. Right, that's slowly depleting. It's completely diminished now here. Right, right say risk, isn't he? He's just dashing forward now. Well, he's got to make something happen at this point. Knife punish with the sweep. Daigo comes in to try and finish this off. No anti on that jump in. Right, he's not going to press too many unnecessary buttons here. Ryan Hart, but he needs to make something happen. 40 seconds on the clock. Pretty huge life lead here for Spends that last meter there. Uh, he'll, he'll gladly fight like this for the rest of the match now, Daigo. Putting out those Sonic crosses, clash with the other Oh, one. nice. Baited him into that, and the crouch medium takes it. First game, Daigo Umehara. It's who, who gets mentally drained first. Great start this round from Daigo, looking good now. As Ryan attempts a few jump-ins, there's the upside down kick again. Sweep out of nowhere. He's expecting a fireball, it didn't come. So can he rise oh, he tried to be reversal, it's going to be the end, surely. Yeah, it is, he's got the bar. And Still alive, yeah. it's Ryan. Beating Sonic, boom. That's it. Fantastic play from Daigo, he takes it 2-0 over Ryan Hart. So those are some of the classic moments between Daigo and Ryan. Hope you liked it and are looking forward for more of the same. Also, if you enjoy what I do, don't forget to show your support by leaving a like, sharing my video with your friends, and by subscribing so you won't miss out on the latest classics from my channel. That's it from me for now. Until next time.